This tutorial video is an addendum to the stationary process editing video and its purpose is to explain and demonstrate the use of the amount and efficiency groups feature when editing stationary processes. The groups feature is something of a legacy from Greet Excel. It was used in the calculation methodology of Greet Excel and we can find it in the items frame of the stationary process editor. If we click on the groups button at the bottom of this frame, two icons appear, the amounts group and the efficiency group. By dropping in an amount group or efficiency group, what we're doing is establishing how much total input is needed to produce the main output. And that total input amount or efficiency factor is entered into the field next to the group efficiency or group amount. In a minute, we'll walk through an example using groups, but first let's look at how they factor into the general formula for a stationary process. The quantity of each input resource within the group will be affected by the amount group quantity or the efficiency group percentage. So when using an amount group, the formula looks like this. Here, the percent share of the input is multiplied by the group amount quantity minus the total quantity for inputs that have explicit amounts instead of shares. And that yields the quantity for that input. The efficiency group formula looks like this, where again the percent share of an input is multiplied by some factor to get the input quantity, but this time that factor is main output quantity divided by the group efficiency with all explicit input amounts subtracted again. And again, the result is the amount for that input. Let's look at an example to clarify this explanation. One quick note before we jump into the example. In the latest version of Greet, the groups feature is an advanced feature. So when the default file is loaded, make sure to go to Preferences in the main menu, click General Settings, then Other Options, and check the box next to Show Advanced Features. This will enable all of the advanced features in Greet, and the Groups feature will be available when you next open the Stationary Process Editor. Now let's go to the Data Editors pane, and we'll add a new Stationary Process. We'll go to Resources and find Natural Gas. We'll drag that in and drop it as our main output with 1 million BTUs. Now we'll go to Groups and we'll drag in an Amount group. We'll drop that in the Group Inputs frame. And we'll set the Group Amount quantity at 1 million BTUs as well. So now the input is the same as the output. There's no losses, and we're at 100% efficiency. Now let's go back to resources. We'll drop in two natural gas inputs in the amount group. The first one we'll set at 100% share. And for the other, we'll want to right click on the input, swap the share amount, and fill in 500,000 BTUs. Now the natural gas input with 500,000 BTUs is accounting for half of the total input of 1 million BTUs. By default then, the other natural gas input is accounting for the other half, which is 500,000 BTUs. Its share of 100% just indicates that it is making up 100% of all input energy not accounted for by inputs with explicit amounts. We can drag in another input. Let's use renewable natural gas. We'll set its share at 50% and reset the percent share of the natural gas input to 50%. So each of those two inputs now account for 250,000 BTUs. Now we can do the same example with an efficiency group. Let's open a blank stationary process We'll drag in a group efficiency and we'll set it at 90%. We'll drag in the natural gas inputs and outputs. 
And we'll set the output amount to be 1 million BTUs. And we'll swap the share amount for the first natural gas input. Now we have 1.11 million BTUs of input because the group efficiency, the efficiency for all inputs in this frame, is 90% of the total output, and more input than 1 million BTUs is needed to generate 1 million BTUs of output. We can set the first natural gas input at 500,000 BTUs, and the second natural gas input at 100% share. So the second input would then account for 611,000 BTUs of the total 1.11 million BTU input. It's possible to use both input frames in the stationary process editor, and you'll see this for some stationary processes in Greet. This can complicate the process calculation quite a bit, so a good rule is to create a process in the simplest way, and that usually means foregoing the groups feature. But if you should want to use it, hopefully you now have a decent grasp of its effect within the model.